Okay, it's an update for the 2015 Honda Ruckus. Um, did a full camel paint job on the Ruckus. Uh, made my own pattern. Come out really good. Even did the wheels. See, they came out really decent. Um, left it in a flat paint, no clear coat. Don't like clear coat. Uh, the paint gets chipped, damaged, scratched in any way. It's really easy just to wet sand it and uh, paint right over it. Keep that camo pattern. Um, it was really easy to do. The uh, plastics on it, I wet sanded them with some 400 grit paper and uh, washed them off and then just uh, hit it with paint. And it's all stayed on there really well. Um, there was a few scratches on it at one point right here. There's a few scratches on the crossbar right here. But I just simply wet sanded it, hit it with some more paint. And uh, it was really easy to fix right up, no problem. Uh, also made a little trunk to carry some, let me see if I can get it open here, carry some tools and other miscellaneous things when I'm riding. Got some uh, few tools in there and stuff. It's just some PVC pipe with some fittings and uh, to attach it, I put some rubber right here. This is a piece of rubber I glued onto this PVC. Keeps it from vibrating right on, on the uprights on the seat frame and scratching it up. Um, paint is stuck fairly well it's probably been a month since I painted it it's been out in the weather I rode it in the rain it stayed on there really well um, this little trunk all I used to attach it was this little clamp right here that came with these hand covers that I didn't I didn't use the clamps that came with the hand covers so I ended up using them for, for that and I also used one right here to mount uh, cell phone holders, a $5 cell phone holder from Walmart, and uh, works extremely well. You just hit a button and it expands open. Hold on a sec. Bands. Then you just put your phone in there. It even has little feet if you want to brace the back of your phone against it. And then you just ratchet it down until it's tight on your phone. It's been great. Phone doesn't vibrate out. Also put a USB uh, charger on there. So in case I need to charge up my phone, my GoPro, anything like that, it works great. The only thing about this is it came with a 20 amp fuse that's in line with it, which is great but it was constant hot so over a couple days time it was discharged my battery so what i did was i wired in a switch right here just a simple push button switch turns it on and off and that keeps it from discharging my battery works great um, had a lot of nice comments from people when i'm out riding to the camo pattern they really they really like it um, I did I did everything the, the cover the cover for the muffler and the paint has stayed on because uh, there's an airspace between the muffler and the cover so it it's not gotten hot enough to uh, take the paint off I, I'm really pleased with that um, even did my um, little coolant reservoir I made a window so I could see where my coolant level was at and uh, it's come out come out really good I'm completely happy with it. My foot pegs that I put on a couple years ago, uh, they're just bicycle foot pegs off of, that I had sitting around and I put them on there with some grade 8 bolts and washers and lock nuts and it's they've stayed right on there, no problem. Um, they're, they're really good. Just for giving me a different riding position. Um, this thing has been absolutely wonderful. 
over the last three years. I mean, it uh, the utility of the Honda Ruckus and its its ability to transport a human being is unbelievable. I mean, you, you just you really can't beat it. Get a hundred miles on a, a gallon of gas. It starts for me every time. The only time that it ever let me down was when, like I said, the I hooked up that USB charger and it discharged my battery, but a simple kickstart, there was still enough left in the battery and it started right up. Um, since I put the switch in, haven't had that problem. I've now got 1,793 miles on it. I ride it a lot. Um, love this thing it's it's not like I said in the previous video it's not fast but it is economical and it's super reliable in its in its base form I haven't done any engine modifications or exhaust modifications I still can get it up to 42 miles per hour um, I've done oil changes I've done coolant changes it's all very simple the oil change the, the coolant changes are, are very inexpensive to do and the only thing I have left to do is recover my seat with some black vinyl. You can see it's still red. I got my seat cover I made, but I want the seat to be black to go more with my camo. Um, those are the same tires I've had for three years. They hold up exceptionally well. I mean, there is nothing I can say bad about the Honda Ruckus. I mean, it's not the fastest vehicle. And it has a lot of space to carry stuff. I mean, I have carried a bunch of stuff on this Ruckus many, many times. Um, I like to use, I have a bag that's usually right here. It's a rucksack, military grade Alice, uh, medium Alice pack. And it is absolutely wonderful for carrying because it's nylon. So it's pretty water resistant. It's not waterproof, but it is pretty water resistant. I mean, I, I don't know how many people keep the ruckus in their, in its factory form, but uh, I just can't speak enough for the reliability of this little machine. It's for something with a piston the size of a shot glass, it, it's just unbelievable how much power this thing has for something with just one little cylinder like that. Uh, I'm working currently on developing a system um, for the back, a rack for the back to have saddlebags made out of Alice packs. Um, as soon as I get that done, I'll be making more videos once I get it finished, completed, mounted, tested. So uh, stay tuned and put your comments below. Thanks.